So the question comes, like the Dr. Behe, like about these changes that can happen by adding constructive addition to the DNA. Can it produce different? I'm not talking about species, just the species. Different like kingdoms and phyla, and uh, like that we can have like sort of like the Cambrian explosion uh, uh, diversity by these constructive additions to the gene pool, or it's not uh, even proven until the moment. Do you mean by Darwinian process or, yes. or what? Yeah. Oh, this is uh, what? No, I, 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 I think it's, there is strong evidence that you cannot do that. Uh, and I write about that in the book. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me show you a slide or two that kind of speaks to that. So here's the uh, Galapagos finches. And if you look at the biological classification of them, uh, versus their ancestor, uh, both the ancestor and the descendant fish, the finch, are eukaryotes, that's the domain, they're animals, they're uh, animals with backbones, they're birds, and so on. They differ only in the two smallest categories, the two uh, bottom categories, species and genus. And so everything above this line is the same only below the line is different. Mm -hmm. And the different categories are substantially different. They require much uh, greater information to pass from one to another. And you, uh, in the book I write that you can represent it by, uh, there are eight classification categories here. You can represent it by an eight digit number. And to make it concrete, you can think of it in terms of a sum of money that uh, has, you know, in hundreds of thousands of dollars and also change a sense. And so in two million years that the finches have been on those Galapagos Islands, they've only changed in the pennies and dimes columns, the, the trivial change. You know, you, you'd get more money if you put your... Uh, if you put your money in a bank and, and waited. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it hasn't done much of anything, and that's over two million years. And, and they're, not, they're not the exception. Here, there are fish called cichlids, <laughs> and let me just say that there are 500 new species in uh, a particular lake in Africa called Lake Victoria, <laughs> but in the same way, they only differ from each other in species and genus. All the other things uh, are the same. And this is also the case in uh, lakes that uh, are millions of years old. Mm -hmm. And if you look at other categories, anoles, lizards, honey creepers, birds in Hawaii, fruit flies in Hawaii, a lot of them have developed new species, some new genera, and no new families or higher. So I call that the family line. That is, I think Darwinian evolution is self-limiting mm -hmm. because with the first rule of adaptive evolution, species adapt easily by breaking genes to fit into the uh, environment. Uh, but then they, that restricts their change at higher levels because they've already used up all of their um, um, all of their uh, uh, extra extra genes that they could lose, and if they lose much else, then they'll be in big trouble. <laughs> so yeah, I, so I think that Darwinian evolution does uh, can do small changes in. Uh, evolution you can uh, can change creatures a little bit around the edges, like the finches, but it can't make anything uh, new, anything beyond the family. So we can say it's like adaptive, just the adaptation, but it doesn't explain the variety of different like uh, types right. and kingdom and so on. But that takes us, like Doctor B, to the point of some people they they, they claim that or some Darwinists, all of them, they say that we, are, we have a common ancestor, or as a whole. I'm talking about the first common ancestor. Is there any science that backs this? Uh, well, um, the science, well, people 
uh, would point to similarities between organisms as the evidence for common descent. So if you think back, they say, well, even bacterial cells have the same DNA code, uh, mm -hmm. use proteins, and so on. And so therefore, if uh, things descended from a single cell that had those common properties, then that explains how the descendant descendants have those properties, they inherited them. So that's taken as evidence, but it doesn't explain how that first cell got those properties, <laughs> and it doesn't explain how those, how extra features, extra properties uh, by more and more complex organisms arose. It just, it kind of just says, you know, they were there in the beginning and we have them now, so it must have been mm -hmm. by common descent. I, I think this is like to, to be. So anyway, reminds me of, uh, sorry to interrupt. It reminds me of uh, Dr. Dennis Noble. He is a non religious evolutionist, you can say that. He's not a Darwinist. And he says uh -huh. the point of like, the, if we just bring DNA and put it in a petri dish for thousands of years, nothing will happen. Because it's not about just DNA, it's uh, about the cell, it's about the epigenetics. Yeah. It's, it's more complex than this. Exactly. Yeah, that, that's, that's exactly right. You know, it's like having a, a, you know, a book in the library. The book's not going to do anything. You know? and if it's a book on engineering, you, know, you have to go and read it, and, and somebody has to put things together. The information itself doesn't do anything. Um, but uh, we are dealing with folks who want Darwinism to be true. So it's, it's, they're very resistant to uh, arguments that, that on their face uh, really uh, are problems for, for them. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, this, this, plan, this slide here is just that uh, that added, that had to be designed, and intelligence had to put all the information necessary to make at least one uh, you know, primordial cat or bear or raccoon, uh, and then they could diversify from that. But that intelligence is needed all the way from the, you know, from the beginning of the universe, the laws of the universe, and so on, all the way down to the uh, plan for cats versus dogs and bears and so on. Uh, and after that, Darwin and Darwin's mechanism can take over. <laughs> That's amazing.